Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome to my latest video, which is a day in my life as a Muslim mom of seven. So I don't actually set an alarm clock. The kids are my alarm. And on this particular day, I just about woke up in time to pray my Fajr prayer or dawn prayer. Once I'd done my prayers, I came downstairs and the kids were slowly waking up one by one. Uh, so it was time to prepare some breakfast. While I prepare breakfast uh, with the younger kids, I like to keep them distracted with some nursery rhymes. So this video was actually in the half term holidays and the kids were not at school. So uh, hearty meals throughout the day. For breakfast, I decided to make a shakshuka just because it's really filling, especially for this time of year. And it's quite easy to prepare. Once I chopped up the veg, I added some sunflower oil to two pans to make sure we had enough for everyone. And then I added the onions and mushrooms. Next, I just added some salt and spices. Once the veg had cooked a little, I just added a tin of chopped tomatoes in each pan. And then I added a tin of baked beans to each pan. And then you just need to add in your eggs. Like I'm gonna do
Usually if I get the chance, I like to wash my pans after serving, like straight after serving uh, because otherwise it just piles up. After breakfast, we like to go for a little outing. So we went to the park and then we went shopping in B&M which is like a home store and we bought some little toys for the kids and uh, a few things for the home. When we got home, it was time to pray the afternoon prayer. And with it being winter, the prayers are really close together. So I have to make sure I keep an eye on all the prayer times. After prayer, I thought I'd make a little sweet treat for the kids. I got these churros from Lidl and I couldn't wait to try them out. I didn't actually make any extra lunch. We had some shakshuka left over. And we had a few other leftovers and soup that the kids uh, were tucking into. Plus they weren't that hungry. So as well as the churros, I made this hot chocolate, which is basically um, a chocolate orange spread. You can use Nutella and you just boil a, a pan of milk with the spread added. And it's really easy, really tasty. Just bring it to the boil and then um, allow it to cool. While the hot chocolate was being made, I fried the churros. and I dip them in this sugar and ground cinnamon mix. My youngest was helping herself to my hot chocolate. After our sweet tree, I gave the surfaces a little bit of a wipe with this winter spice variety of Zaflora. It smells delightful. And then the kids had a little bit of a playtime and a bit of watching TV videos on YouTube. Alexa, I was finding out sunset? how long I had to sunset pray my uh, afternoon, like late afternoon prayer, as a prayer. So I found out when sunset was and then prayed while I had the chance. By then it had started raining. The morning can start off really sunny, by afternoon it can be pouring it in this part of the world so i was gonna make chicken tikka masala for dinner the kids had actually requested it and uh, i actually um, cut up some chicken breasts uh, marinated them the day before 
So I'm just showing you uh, the meal prep that I did. So first of all, I'm just cutting up the chicken breasts. In a large bowl, adding some yogurt, salt, spices, garlic and ginger paste, some lemon juice and sunflower oil and just give that a good mix. And then add in your chicken breast and just make sure it's fully coated in the marinade. I pop that into a freezer bag and then put it in the fridge overnight. It was starting to get late and uh, almost sunset so I just closed the curtains and blinds and we had the most gorgeous sunset, mashallah. So it was time for evening prayer or maghrib and then it was time for dinner prep. So first of all, I'm finely dicing some onions. This is for the sauce for the chicken tikka masala. So in a large pan, you need to add some sunflower oil, the diced onions, and just cook them until they're soft, translucent. Next I added the chicken breast pieces and just cook them until the sauce has kind of dried up a little bit. So I'm just cooking on a medium heat, stirring uh, regularly. And you can see that the chicken pieces are cooking nicely. Once the chicken has cooked nicely in the marinade and the onions, add in some passata. I also added some paprika and a little bit more salt. One spice that was missing that I would have liked to add is turmeric powder, but I was all out. And finally, I added some double cream. Just mix that all in. I allowed that to cook for maybe five, 10 more minutes drizzled over a little bit more double cream and then garnished with some coriander. And there it is nice and ready, mashallah. I served it with some white plain boiled rice. I actually would have liked some naan with the chicken tikka masala but we didn't have any shop bought ones and I didn't have time to prepare them. But it tasted delicious anyway, mashallah. So after that, it was time for bed for the younger kids. So they had their shower and bedtime. And then it was Isha time or like the evening prayer, the night prayer. So at night I usually do a quick tidy up so there wasn't much to clean actually so I just freshened up the sofas and ran the washing machine. I 
And then it was time for a much needed cuppa. Which I thoroughly enjoyed, mashallah. While watching The Handmaid's Tale. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this day in my life. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, I'll see you in my next video. Take care, salam, bye.